what is up everybody welcome back to the channel i have something great in store for you guys today do you remember the video that i made a while back on ryobi's 12 inch powered snow shovel not battery powered the one that you had to plug in a lot of you guys sent comments in telling me that it's garbage it's trash needs to be thrown away you had rather just shovel well if that was you then you're gonna love this video because today I got my hands on the battery operated snow shovel from Ryobi yes battery operated I'm gonna unbox and put through the paces Ryobi's snow shovel and then I'm gonna compare the powered shovel and the snow shovel for a side-by-side -side comparison to see which one's really the better of the two then we're gonna compare the costs of the two to find out which one is actually the better purchase the smarter purchase So I have the battery powered snow shovel and I have the electric corded powered snow shovel. I want to do a side by side comparison. First off, this one's a lot lighter. This is going to put a lot less stress on your back. But there's one significant factor about this one that we'll get into in just a minute. First, let's see if this one can do as well as a job as the snow thrower that I reviewed from a couple years ago. All right, so we didn't get a lot of snow. Well, I mean, we got a lot of snow, but thanks to the wind, certain areas, there's a lot more snow than other areas. As you can see by how deep this is, I'm going to take both those snow throwers and I'm going to run through here. The road is way over there, so don't worry, I'm not going to throw my snow into the road. But let's see which one can get through this snow easier. I'm going to start with the electric powered snow shovel and I'm going to push a path past the van. Okay, let's start with this one. Like I said before, there's a cord you have to deal with on this, which is its biggest downfall. One-handed use. This is easy operation. So now, now we're going to try Ryobi's battery powered. This is the 40 amp or I'm sorry, this is the 40 volt lithium battery, the same one that powers the lawnmower that I showed you in a previous uh, review video. Let me get on this side of it so you can see. Oh, 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 
side-by-side -side comparison, both of them prove they can go through the heavy snow without a problem. This is lighter snow than what I would have liked to test this out on, but this is what we have, so this is all I can show you. Now there is a drastic downfall to both of these units. This one is a lot lighter, a lot taller, and a lot easier on my back. And I'm 6'5", so for short people, you may have a problem with it. For me, this is a lot heavier and a lot shorter, but it gets the job done without a problem. I think some of you shorter people could benefit from this one over this one. The real significant downfall, gotta have a cord to plug this in. Although this is not an outside cord, I'm only using it to demonstrate for this video. You have to have a cord for this, and you're limited to how long your cord is as far as how long you can go. Let me get this one out of the way real quick. The highly coveted, battery operated snow shovel. Two really big problems with this. I'll go through the first one right now, and then I'll go through the second one in the house where I can show you a little better with a little better light. Number one, what happens to batteries when it's cold outside? They die really, really quickly. Now, I'm, this has never been intended, and I have never tried to convey that the message that you're supposed to do your driveway with this. This is more like small decks, sidewalks, stuff like that. Um, but the issue is going to come into hand. How cold is it outside? How charged is the battery? This isn't going to last that long when it's really super cold out. And the second thing is, in order to use this as a snow shovel, you must have the Ryobi Expanded weed trimmer system. And the reason why this is important is because the end of it comes off. That is where you plug in the snow shovel. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys, you buy this, but you can't use it unless you have this. That right there is the biggest reason why you'll never find this for 40 bucks. All right, so here's the deal. I spent over a hundred bucks on just the snow shovel piece that was not with the battery powered motor apparatus that you have to have or you can't use it. The same piece that you use for the expanded line weed trimmer, I have a rototiller for my wife's garden, I have hedge clippers, sidewalk edger, leaf blower. The expanded series comes with a bunch of different stuff and to be completely honest with you guys, if it's something you're interested in, maybe in spring, I'll do a review on it with all the attachments to show you how versatile it is. But back to this thing. I don't forget the exact amount of money I spent on it, but I'll have it pop up somewhere uh, what I paid for it. You can buy it together as one group, and I'll have that price pop up right here. I mean, the cost difference between the two, Powered Shovel wins hands down. But... If you're dead set on having a battery, which a lot of you guys are, obviously, I read the comments, then this isn't a bad deal. This is not a paid sponsorship. I bought this with my own money just to be able to give you this review and compare the two side by side. I really appreciate the fact that each and every one of you watched that video and all of you that commented on it, thank you. But man, I got a lot of hate off that damn video. I mean, I had to make a follow-up video to explain to people that I shoveled the snow out of the road. I just didn't film it because, I mean, who the fuck wants to watch that? I don't. I still stand behind that first video. 40 bucks. If you could find it, you would be a fool not to pick it up. As far as the absolute need to have it battery operated, well, there's two costs involved in it now if you go with the Ryobi one. And to be honest with you, if you have Ryobi's expanded line weed trimmer system, you'd be a fool not to get it. You know what guys, I really appreciate the support you guys have shown in the channel. That video, the first Ryobi snow shovel video is done amazing. It's done better than anything I could have ever hoped for. And I got a lot of comments, mostly negative. I'm not gonna lie, there are some haters in YouTube, but, I tried to address each and every one of your guys' questions and comments, but this is one 
where I just needed to pick up the battery powered one, put them side by side, and let you guys decide what's right for you. So this is Big Show saying, hey man, if you haven't already, subscribe. Smash the like button, and guys, I'll see you next video.